I'd now like to move on to discuss the four stages of enterprise architecture. This is the enterprise architecture maturity model. The MIT Sloan Center for Information System Research conducted a survey of 456 enterprises over the period of 1995 to 2007. And this was published, 2006, sorry, this was published in the CIO magazine in Australia in February 2007, and I believe it was published in CIO magazine in the US in either November or December of 2006. As a result of that survey, the Centre for Information Systems Research identified four key maturity model stages for enterprise architecture. Stage one, the development of what were called business silos. Stage two, standardised technology. Stage three, standardised processes. And stage four, business modularity. Now, the authors of the article the documented in CIO magazine indicated that organizations must go through all stages, that no stage can be skipped, but some organizations may move faster through some stages. And when we look at various uh, capabilities for each of the stages, we look at IT capability in stage one for business silos is a focus on local IT applications. Stage two, standardized technology is a focus on standard technology platforms. For stage three, standardized processes, the focus is on enterprise-wide standardized processes or data. Stage four, business modularity, the focus is on plug-and-play business process modules. When we look at business objectives, stage one for business silos looks at the re return on investment of local business initiatives. Stage two, standardized technology, looks at reduced IT costs. Stage three, standardized processes, looks at cost and quality of business operations. Stage four, business modularity, looks at speed to market and strategic agility. Considering funding priorities, stage one business silos address individual applications. Stage two, standardized technology, looks at shared infrastructure services. Stage three, standardized processes, looks at enterprise applications. Stage four, business modularity, looks at reusable business processes. Key management capability now for stage one business silos looks at technology-enabled change management. Stage two, standardized technology, looks at design and update of standards and funding of shared services. Stage three, standardized processes, looks at core enterprise process definition and measurement. Stage four, business modularity, also looks at core enterprise process definition and measurement. Who defines the applications now for stage one business silos is local business leaders. Stage two, standardized technology is IT and business unit leaders. Stage three, standardized processes is senior managers and process leaders, stage four business modularity is IT, business and industry leaders. Considering the key IT governance issues, the stage one business silos looks at measuring and communicating value, 
Stage 2 standardised technology looks at establishing local versus regional versus global responsibilities. Stage 3 standardised processes looks at aligning project priorities with architecture objectives and stage four business modularity looks at defining, sourcing and funding business modules. Finally, the strategic implications for stage one business silos is local and functional optimization. Stage two standardized technology focuses on IT efficiency. Stage 3 standardised processes focuses on business operational efficiency. Stage 4 business modularity focuses on strategic agility.